I'll put mine. Uh, and in the end, end I'll take wait, all your money. Wait, 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 this is, hey, listen. Okay. I think now. So, quick, your oh, logic listen, to me listen. right now is at the end of the season, the Brooklyn Nets, we're gonna, we're gonna, they're going to be in the Eastern Conference Championship. That's what you tell them. Against Giannis. And they're going to lose against, against the Greek Freak. They're, they're going to lose, lose against, against Giannis. Giannis. They're going to lose against the Greek Freak. They're going to, the right. roster's going to get tweaked. And I they're going to lose against the Greek Freak. Right. No, they're going to tweak that tweet? They're going to tweak that roster. Listen, listen. They're going to tweak that roster, man. That I guarantee you. What's the tweak? What's the tweak? What's the tweak? Hold on. First of all, hold on. Tell me. First of all, I think what they're going to try to what he's going to try to do is he's I think they might they're going to test this Ben Ben Simmons experiment a little bit more. This doesn't work. They're coming off Ben Simmons before the trade deadline. Now, I don't know what they can get for Ben Simmons, but I know what he's going to target. They got two. They got two areas. They got to target. They got to get a backup wing that can really help because the guy they got ain't playing. And they got to get another big man that can really help them in the post because they're getting killed on the boards and with post defense. I believe mm -hmm. those are the two areas he will yep. target. Listen, right. Dwight Howard came out and said that they Hard didn't sign him one. because he, he couldn't shoot threes. Right. Dwight Howard said they didn't sign him because he couldn't shoot three. Guess what? I would go sign Dwight right now. If I'm Brooklyn, I would go because you know why? I ain't putting Ben Simmons on Joel and beating them dudes, bro. Who they got? They got they got Claxton Garden and B. Bro, you're gonna get murdered every night. Okay, now NBA now just so you know, now just so you know, ticket, I, I want to make sure that we clear. We did this last year, so we ended up bringing in Andre Drummond because they were soft in the middle last year. They did that last year and it didn't work. And that, no, the reason why and, 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 and the reason why but it didn't work, and, and the reason why it didn't work, I think Steve Nash, for his ability to coach, he got himself in a lot of trouble with his ability to coach. I watched him play Toronto. Toronto went on an 11 0 run, and in that 11 0 run, they ended up seven of those eleven, seven of those eleven points with second chance points. Their best rebounder, who is Andre Drummond, is on the bench while that's going on. So that's, well, that's coaching, because right? Andre, that's okay. because he hold on, no, that's because he milks. Hold on, that's because if you watch Andre Drummond's career, he normally milks come playoff time. But see, here's the thing. Dwight Howard is a different type of defender than 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 Andre Drummond. Drummond is a good rebounder. He's yeah. he, he he he's not a great he's not a great post defender when you really look at him. He's a great rebounder, that type of guy. Other than that, you can't really depend on him to do all the other this stuff. Dwight means. Howard, good good great help side defense from Dwight. If you're playing Dwight 18 minutes a night against Joel and Bees, against those other guys in the East, I believe then now he helps you resolve your problems inside as far as defensively. Now. Let's look at the wing problem they got. Yep. They need a wing that they can rely on for at least 18, 17 to 18 minutes a game to help relieve KD. So a KD is – listen, KD can't, is not giving you anything on defense because he's exerting too much energy offensively and he's playing way too many minutes. That's why they brought they Royce O'Neal in. That's why they brought Royce O'Neal No, 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 no not Royce O'Neal. Royce O'Neal's a two. Royce O'Neal's a playing a two. See, that whole thing is wrong. Royce O'Neal is not the guy. You got They have to get a bigger wing – that's going to take minutes to help KD not play 39 minutes a game, bro. Then you got to take K. You got to get KD's minutes around 35, 34. Look, what, what Ham's doing, he's getting bronze minutes down. They're winning now because guess what? You bring Russ off the bench. Russ helps your team offensively off the bench because he can do what he do. And guess what that does? That keeps LeBron fresher because if you're playing LeBron too many minutes, guess what's going to happen down the stretch in the fourth quarter? LeBron's going to be gassed. And guess what LeBron's going to do? Take bad step back threes. You know why? Because he doesn't have the energy to continue to go to the basket like he was doing early in the game because he's older and you're playing him too many minutes. That's the reason why the formula that Bud uses, all that stuff that Mr. Mars was talking about, uh, uh, the coach for the Bucks. They actually have a good strategy with Giannis. They don't burn Giannis out. They don't overplay Giannis. And they actually play him enough to where Giannis maximizes the time that he plays in. So they're not over. That's what they had to do with KD, bro. KD's playing 39, 40 minutes a game. Year 16. He's scoring the points. He ain't got nothing on D. You got to cut that out, you, bro. Mars, do you have a rebuttal to that before we move on? I don't know what that has to do with my take on Coach Bud and Giannis. That, the minutes was never something I spoke about, but... You said he wasn't using Giannis right, clown. But Giannis Antetokounmpo yes. is the best player in the world. The Bucs are undefeated without Chris Middleton. And you, sir, would you like sugar or cream in your tea? Answer that question, boy. Reason, and don't you forget, reason. November the 25th, oh, okay. you had your ass there, boy. Don't bring no notes. Don't bring no pencil. Don't bring no paper. Just bring your brain and bring your ass, and I'm going to step on it. <laughs>
the reason the Bucks have been so good is because they've actually changed their defense this year. They're not giving up as many frees. If you watch the games, you'll see they're not giving up as many wide open frees, and their defense looks a lot better. Plus, Brook Lopez being yeah, back. Their, Lopez their, before. their offense yeah. still hasn't been great. They're still using yeah, Yannis in a way that, to me, isn't going to be great in the playoffs, but we'll see how it looks with Chris Middleton back. They're like a middle-of-the-pack offensive team right now, but their defense has been so great with Brook Lopez and the fact they're actually closing out to the three-point line this year that that's why they've looked so great so far this year. But that, once again, had nothing to do with my take on how Yanis was being used. And how he's being used hasn't really changed offensively. So I still have the same question marks, but I'm going to wait for Chris Middleton to be back before I jump off a cliff. And I'm, I don't just react to five games, but you can do what you're doing. I don't mind. I'm going to be honest with you. Ticket is basically expecting somebody to be a miracle worker. Because, <laughs> bro, there's, I mean... I understand what he's saying, but he made a Oh, what about this Brooklyn offense with one move suggests that, yo, this team is not a team to beat in the East? But what's the move, though? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, what, yeah, I don't like this. What, no... what move in the East? It's just not. What, what, what move on this roster? Let's take Claxton off and trade him for, I don't know. If we take Claxton out, or if we, or, or, if we, if we put him. a package you can, together. You can keep Claxton on and add Dwight Howard, like he said. That defense is still a bottom ten defense. You can you can add Brooklyn another one. They wanted a shooter. They wanted a, a stretch big. That's why they didn't hire. The White said that the reason they didn't take him because he can't make threes. So they don't want a Dwight Howard. They want a stretch. No, three. but what I'm I saying mean, that's, the, that's the you, trying you can do, for Ben Simmons. That's you you can you can do anything. You, what I'm yeah. saying is you can do anything you want to do with this team. You can add Dwight. You can keep him. You can add a stretch. Like it doesn't. There's so many problems with this team that 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 adding a player or two just isn't going to fix them, especially when we're talking about so many def um defensive deficiencies on this roster. So like, I I understand like they can make some tweaks, but the tweaks that they're doing are players that are not signed yet, and they're not signed for a reason. So like I don't, I mean, unless you want Ime Doku to be a, a miracle worker, I just don't see how this is ever going to manifest into a quality team. And uh, and before we move on, Ron, I just quickly. It's not just that the Nets are bad defensively. Like they they're historically bad defensively. That's that's the problem. They are as as of um I, I haven't checked it right now, but before the last game, they, they were literally the worst defensive team in NBA history. So it's it's not just that they are the worst team defensively in the league. They're so bad that even if you add another piece to it, it might take them from the worst all time to just relatively the second or, or first or first bat worst team in the NBA defensively this year. Like that's all that that move is going to do. So they just have a lot of deficiencies and they don't really have much else to do on this roster when you're two, really only two defenders are Claxton and, and Simmons and they have to like cover everybody's deficiencies while also rebound and also give help. And they're the only players on the team that play defense and that are taller than six, six. Like they just have way too much responsibility, and I, I don't I don't really see even adding a Dwight Howard on a roster. Like even if hypothetically Dwight is on a team and he can shoot thirty eight percent from three, that is not enough to change the, these problems on this roster at all.